Hello, <laughs> welcome to your bank holiday Monday this morning. How are you? I'm good, yeah, I'm very good. Um, I enjoyed watching everyone celebrate over the weekend. Oh, it was yeah. nice, wasn't nice. it? Everybody was in good spirits. I wish the weather had sort of cooperated a little okay. better. That's the only thing. We stayed in, we baked cakes with the kids. We actually made Cloda's recipe. We made this lemon drizzle oh, look cake. Look at that. I will just, there's a disclaimer here. Go on. She said use a rectangle tray. I only had square. So it's like, it's like a sort of squished flag. But listen, it tasted pretty good. I like the way the fruit is hiding all the unhealthy yes, sugary yes, stuff. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm Hello. hiding and the icing, <laughs> how we iced it as well. I, did you see Holly's cake though? I was proud of our cake. And then I looked at Holly's cake on Instagram. She didn't yeah. make that. Did she, did. she make that? That was a Julia no, that's, Sear recipe. No, that, she bought that. Is in. there anything she can't do? I was so impressed by this. How did she make the top bit? I, I just don't know. It's a Juliet recipe. I know that much. It was, it, yeah, it's on the app apparently. Okay. There you go. Well, I'll be doing that later. <laughs> Excited about that. Do you know, I went to Bruce Springsteen. I won't lie to you. That was my weekend. He was amazing what? in the sunshine. That's a, still yeah, a in celebration. Still uh, well, a yes, celebration. it was a celebration. You it was took good, that though. bank holiday. <laughs> I did. I owned it. it. <laughs> and then I watched a load of rugby. That was it. That was my kind of standard <laughs> bank well, holiday. It was good, though. Was good, everybody sure. seems to have been enjoying themselves. Georgina says, we had a street party with music, games, dancing, and beautiful sunshine. Oh, that looks Look good. That, that, they, look that was yesterday's sunshine then. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, not Saturday. Julianne, we had a street party and we're prepared for rain with a marquee. We we're glad when uh, the heavens opened. Ah, oh, smart. Ah, there you go. So you got the money's worth out of the marquee. Yeah, there you good, go. Good. It makes sense. Tina says, my pup joined in the celebrations. <laughs> Look. That's very cute. So cute. Um, do you know what I think? Go on. I think the street party thing's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I think every bank holiday, the first May bank holiday, mm. should be street party come How Sunday. How good would that be? Because, you know, people, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated over here, right? Yes, yes. But I think you should be celebrating one day with street parties as big as you would St. Patrick's Day here, I think. Is you, this you know. a campaign you're starting? I, well, let's start it. OK. They listen to you more than me. You start I the campaign. I don't know about that. Did you see my cake? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it then. That's what we're doing. Street we're party the when there's a bank holiday. I'll okay. go for it. Uh, um, please do keep all your pictures yes. from the weekend coming in. We want to see what you're all up to. Because and we hope like you've it. had a good one. It looks like it. Um, but you can chill out in the sofa this morning because we've lots coming up on the mm -hmm. show today, including two very tasty dishes mm. from our batch lady, Suzanne Mulholland. Hiya, Suzanne, what Hi. you got? Oh, I've got a double one for you today. So because we've had the bank holiday, I felt like it was quite excessive what we've probably all been eating. I'm doing a light chicken and chorizo pie with some phyllo pastry on the top. And then I'm going to show you a really easy, simple recipe for the kids. Let's make fudge. Oh, my god. You'd bury gosh. your head in that, in that, that pie there, wouldn't you? you just go straight in. Look at that. You know when you're not like sure that. what you need on bank holiday? We've all had a bit of a busy weekend. That's what we That's need. It. Two hits That's of it. cookery yesterday. Nice, yep. nice, nice, nice. Uh, and we're going to eat a lot, but we're also going to talk about getting fit because he's oh. the man behind Daniel Craig's James Bond physique. Look at that. Everybody knows that scene. Trainer to the stars, Simon Waterson, is here to help us get our bodies summer ready. Hiya, Simon. Good morning. I'm going to be here. I'm going to give you a few simple exercise post festivities to get your summer body ready. OK. He is not leaving here without my mobile number. <laughs> I need him in my life. That's I'm going it. to eat that pie, then I'm going to have some okay. regret, and then I'm chatting to him. Yeah, eat the fudge first. <laughs> eat the fudge yeah. first, and then think about that later. It'll be fine with exactly. him. He'll sort it all out. Balance, Craig. It's go. balance. It's all about balance. <laughs> um, how to save money on your supermarket stables. Well, David Domine is revealing why it's cheaper to grow your own herbs. And they last longer too, David. How are you? They do. Good morning to you. Yeah, of course, they're very important for cooking, which is on the item, and also being healthy too. But rather than buying them in plastic at the supermarkets, you can grow your own. So I've got loads of hints and tips of where you can save money, have better flavour food, and be healthy at the same time. And I bet it smells gorgeous in there right now, doesn't it? Yeah, and if his luscious locks are anything to go by, he knows how to grow he stuff. He knows. He, does. he knows. <laughs> That's very oh, look, at oh, that. look at that. That was a hair campaign, that was. And as well as all of that, we're giving you some bank holiday spring cleaning inspiration as the Style Sisters carry out a bedroom makeover at 10.50. We're joined by two of the stars of Netflix's new blockbuster telling the story of Cleopatra. That's at 5 to 12. And how to give yourself a cyber clean. We're joined by scam expert Jenny Radcliffe as she explains how to protect your emails, phone and computer from fraudsters at 5 past 12. 
And he's back with his unique uh, brandreth of advice. Giles mm. is here to take your calls on the phone in today. Giles, this is exceptional. I'm excited mm -hmm. about this. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm excited too. This is the third day of the coronation weekend. This is the day for the big help out. The idea is if you're a volunteer, be out there volunteering, doing good works. So we thought we'd have our own big help out. If you actually feel like some help, if you feel you want some help today because you're feeling a bit low or you were a bit lonely over the weekend, watch the coronation on your own. Give us a call and we will try to help help out, cheer you up in some way. Also, if you are helping out today, if you're one of the volunteers, and apparently millions are going to be doing things today, tell us what you're doing, how you are helping out today. Yes, thank you very much. Give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44 or download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over.